let me give you brief about a uh, study class like uh, study we have discussed regarding how we can create a variable and uh, how to assign the value of a variable then how to log a variable uh, then we have uh, read about the uh, like conditional uh, like we have to uh, read about this um, conditional check how to do the if, if and else and then we discuss about how to use if and else and then we discuss about switch and case right this is the yesterday class we have let's go today and discuss about some uh, condition about looping okay what is loop let me show you something let me get one file and let me add some syntax yeah. okay. before going into loop you have to understand what is called a loop okay i'm giving one example <clears throat> just imagine you are here okay you are here and uh, you want to travel from this suppose you want to travel from here to here okay. means that the same person which is going to travel from this location to another location okay to traverse from one location to another location okay traverse from one location to another location either you can go by walk or you can go by uh, like uh, running two way you can do or you can use anything right means in programming if you want to traverse from one location to another location okay you need some speed right means suppose just imagine this is a position 1 and you want to go position 10 now in that case if you are going to traverse from this location to this location then we need the concept of loop loop means to traverse traverse means to go to traverse from one location to another location using programming we call as a loop I always remember to go from one location to another location okay for that we require the concept of a loop but now the question how speed you want to go how speed means you want to go by one one step or you want to go by two step or you want to go by five step it totally depend upon you means when you traverse from one location to another location that we call loop and the step you want to go forward that is called a loop value let me explain the same thing just imagine i i want to traverse i want to display from 1 to 10 example <coughs> understand this concept of loop suppose you want to my requirement will, will be print 1 to 10 and what you can do you have two options you can do you can go and write console dot log one same way you can print 10 times right you can put two three four five you can go and print all these things so on up to 10 you want to print right very fresh you can see i can able to see one two three four three two up to ten just imagine i i'll go and say okay print to one two thousand now are you going to print one two thousand in this way right this is not possible to print from one two thousand right to solve this kind of issue in programming we have a concept called loop loop means you will iterate iterate means let me show you iterate means you have to go one point to another point it's called iterate this is the starting point this will be the ending point okay that is called iteration to do the iteration we require the concept of a loop okay means loop how you can do loop in programming there is three kind of loop one is for while and do while let me go and explain one by one using this print one to ten my main requirement is i need to print from one to ten using different different loop okay now in for loop let me explain for loop for loop means what you will write the syntax for okay? then we will say bar can declare a variable suppose i equal to 1 now i want to go i will explain all this thing i want to go up to 10 then i want to go step by plus plus okay i will 
I will print and show you the output. I refresh you can see it is playing 1 2 3 4 5 2 up to less than equal to you can see it is playing up to 1 to 10 now let me go and discuss this condition to you in paint when you write this syntax when you write this syntax is the meaning of or your now you have declare a variable or name only i declare a variable called i starting from one then what i did i did list where you want to go i want to go this i should be go to 10 then I told in this graph like the what is the step you want to traverse from this to this to this the step is the only one is the increment operator okay increment operator means what when you write i plus plus there is the same meaning as i plus equal to one means you are incrementing by one okay instead of writing plus equal to one you have to write i plus plus means you are incrementing i in one step ahead same way if you go and write this one i plus plus means what happening you are traversing this data by one step okay that is the use of for means first we have to declare a variable okay first we declare a variable which is store okay, just a second means let me explain one thing thing this var i means declare a variable to store the starting point always remember this one declare a variable where i means declare a variable to store the starting point here you can see where i equal to one if i go and write where i equal to five means my loop is going to start from five only always remember in for loop if you want to traverse between one point to another point I mean this is the five, point five you have to traverse to point number ten then you have to give one starting point the starting point will be the first argument okay next one next one will be i less than equal to 10 the meaning of i less than equal to 10 means i equal to 5 and you want to say that my i means my variable will go up to 10 and equal to my less than equal to 10 it will go means it will go 5 6 7 up to 10 means this will set where is my endpoint what it first one you declare the start point means you have declared this is my starting point and this argument you call the end point clear this is the starting point this is the ending point now this one you return i plus plus this means how step you are going to forward means suppose you want to go one by one do you want to go two by two like a two two jump or something like that you have to give this way but if you want to go to one by one then you have to give i plus plus i plus plus means it will give i plus plus means you will go by one step now you will ask me no i i want to instead of going one plus plus one i want to print plus plus two in that case what will do you just remove it here okay and here what will do i plus equal to two if you refresh you can see what happening instead of going one one step it's going two two step means five plus two seven seven plus two nine nine plus two eleven but the problem is why it's giving you 11 because when you are in 9 step then you are getting plus plus right due to that is increment by 2 but next time when condition satisfy is saying that the i is greater than 10 due to that it's not going inside this loop okay let me explain again first one is 5 just imagine first one is 5 
then plus 2 now the value will be now value will be 7 next go is check 7 is less than or equal to 10 true then it is going to print the 9 again it goes to the loop check 9 is less than or equal to 10 true then it's print the 11 again it goes to the here and check okay 11 is less than or equal to 10 no false then it's going to the outside okay means all the time when the loop is up iterate it will going to this state like step how many step you want to traverse the loop that is the use of loop okay always remember in for loop is used to traverse from one location to another location using the step okay you can assign the step here otherwise you can give you have, you have to give the step also inside the body it's up to you how we're going to decide okay but it this is the use of loop means loop is used to print some value from one point to another point you want to do any type of condition you can do that okay now let's go and discuss about another loop called while okay. <clears throat> in for loop let us print the same data using while okay what happen while in for loop you have to give initialization uh, like condition and increment or decrement you have to give I mean these three are the first argument you can see the initialization second argument will be the condition condition and third one is the increment or decrement increment or Okay. This is the basic of a loop. You have to give all this thing. If you go, go to a for loop, let us go and print the same data using while loop. To print the data in while loop, you have to go and start with the same, same type of concept. Let me do bar j equal to 1 while j is less than equal to 10 console dot log j a plus plus let me discuss each and everyone they go and refresh sorry let me comment it down let me refresh you can see it's going to print the 1 to 10 i will ask what is the difference between this for loop and while loop you can see that in for loop we are initializing condition and increment decrement we are giving in a same line whereas in case of for loop in case of while loop you have to declare the variable outside the scope uh, outside this file and in a while you have to give only condition and increment and decrement is going to happen in inside this file body means in some of the cases if and use for loop you have to do all the initialization everything in the same line whereas in case of while you need to declare this variable and this condition and increment decrement in different different step that is the use of while loop means you can see that i declare this variable outside this while whereas in for loop i declare in the same line same way the condition like the condition is i less than uh, 10 i have only given the condition here only and always remember the file the file one is always accepting boolean like yesterday, like yesterday class we have discussed in the boolean it may be true or false always remember the whatever you are passing here the condition if i saying condition any process you have to always remember condition means either true or false true or false always in that case i have given the condition okay until this j is less than equal to 10 i need to iterate the loop but each and every process i'm increasing the j plus plus okay this is the same data i am printing in j using while in different different format these are all are the different different uh, like looping structure is used in different different purpose but you have to know what are the how they are going to declare okay 
let's go and discuss about do while let me print the same data using do while var a equal to 1 do console dot log a a plus plus file age less than 10 you can see that what happening in these two in these two loop for loop and while loop we are first checking the condition and then doing the work in case of a do while first we will do the work then we will going to check the condition that is the use of do while nowadays like most of the time we are not using do while mostly we are using for loop and while loop but you have to know this is the one of the loop it's may be used some of the programming but the only difference between while for and do while is do while okay the only the difference between while and do while will be in do while you have to first execute the code then you will going to check the condition but if you check the other loop you can see that first we are checking the condition then do the work that is the only difference between do while and while and for loop this is the basic loop you should have to know when you are writing the programming okay means you have to know the purpose of for for is used to traverse from one location to another location using some step the step will be either forward or either backward means what is forward and backward just imagine i want to print from 10 to 1 in that case my starting point will be 10 my ending point will be 1 and my increment instead of increment i'll do the decrement okay that is the use of increment and decrement i hope you can able to understand this for while and do let's go and work with array anyone any question for this loop before going to next one okay let's go to array array dot html let me create one Hey, this is the basic one you have to know before going to start into TypeScript. Means all the programming has the same kind of concept. You have to know how to declare a variable, loop, if else condition, and all this kind of function. You have to know all these things. Let me go and discuss about array. <coughs> What is array? Yes, like we declare. Suppose you want to store a name. You have to declare var. Uh, suppose name equal to John. Okay. Now I am to tell you, okay, store another name. It will go var name two equal to John two. I will show, okay, store another name. Go and define another three John. I will show, okay, store another name. Store another name. You have to store the ten name. Are you going to store all this data in different different variables? Just remember, you have to store the hundred data, hundred employee name or hundred name of your user. You are going to store each and every data in different different variables. Just imagine how you are going to change the variable, how you are going to remember the name of the variable, right? You cannot, right? This is not possible. To solve this data, to solve this type of problem, to store the same kind of a data in uh, like bulk format means in say group format, we need the concept of array. What is array? To store. same kind of data in group format need array array means it's a group or collection collection will be the technical word group or collection means suppose you want to store 
instead of declaring all the variable for all the names what you want to do you can declare a same variable names and store the, all the data in one format is called array and see that I no need to declare name 1 name 2 name 3 name 4 or put name 100 in all the variable instead of declaring all this variable in different different variable instead of doing all this thing what I will do I will declare a variable and that variable is going to store the data in group format or collection format this okay it's group or collection that we are calling as a array. Array means, let me draw something for you. Array means you have to declare a group. Okay, just imagine you have declared a group. In this group, we are going to store the data in different different block format. But what happened to a variable? When you declare a variable, it's only one, means it's just a one. But if you go and combine all the variables, and give one name that it's called a array got it clear instead of declaring instead of declaring each and every variable instead of declaring each and every variable okay just group this variable with one name we call as a array the same thing we did it here right instead of declaring name three times three variable what we did we declare this three variable in only one group that is the case of array that we call as array why array required just imagine you want to store all the user information that time you know you don't need to declare the all the user variable right you have to declare one variable then you are the data okay that is called the array i think you got clear right this array concept let me repeat it again instead of like the array is the group of each and every variable like this if you grouping this one and giving one name it's called as a array to declare a array in javascript you have to use the square bracket in square bracket and you have to give the different different name separation by one name to another name you have to give the col semicolon the, sorry this comma you have to give the comma is used to give the separation between one item to another item right that is the use of array <clears throat> let's go and print the array you declare this array right names let me go and print the array for print the array i will console dot log names you can see if i print you can see i can able to see this three item but but in case of variable you can go simple write this name I can able to access the name right but in array due to its a group there is a concept of index what is the concept of index when you add the item here suppose you add suppose a here and b c and d e f just imagine this is your data inside your um, array like john 1 john 2 john 3 what happen internally to the uh, array array is going to allocate one one location to is each and every data okay that location is starting from zero this is zero this is one two three four five but the length is six you can see that one two three four five six this data length is six but the position is always start from zero okay 0 position, 1 position, 2 position, 3 position. This position we call as index. Always remember, this position we call as index and this is all the data count is called as length. Means in array, length equal to total number of data. Means you can see that our total number of data is 1, 2, 3. But index means position of the data got it means length means the length is you have to count one two three the length is three 
but index equal to position position means going to calculate this position this position this position and in array always the position start from zero means if you want to access this zone their position is zero to access zone two is position is one for zone three position is three position is two let me go and print each and every variable let me print first this john name to print that what are you going to do you have to use names then you have to give the index position what is the index position of john it's a zero okay if i go and log it I refresh you can see that displaying john means what happening internally when you create this item, when you create this item in in array, automatically the the system is giving one 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 position to this. This is the zero position. This is the one position. This is the two position. And but the length is three because one two three. Length and index you don't be confused all the time. Length will be the total number of count of data. Means this count means this is the one, two, three. But the index means the position of data, individual position of inside the data. In that case, what happened? If I go and print this one, this one means the position is 0, 1, 2, then you have to put suppose 1. If you refresh, you can see John 2. Same way I want to print John 3, I have to give the position 2. So we're going to print John 3. I don't have any data, let me print John 2. 3 then if you refresh you can see it is being undefined what is undefined undefined means there is no data for this position okay that is the use of different different access the index you got it how to access the data using index means you have to give the array name and square bracket you have to give the position means the i let me discuss this let me explain this one the first one will be the if there is no position if, let me explain all this thing name of i i means index let me explain this one name is the this names equal to this names equal to name name of the name of an array This index equal to position of the item. Always remember, if you're going to access each and individual data, then you have to go this type of concept. Okay. Now, now imagine you already declare an array. Now, in case of variable, suppose you want to add John 4. Then what will do? You can declare another variable, right? But in case of array, if you want to put if you want to add any item to this existing data then you have to use some some predefined function of a array for that suppose i want to add john 4 to this array for that what i'll do i'll use names dot push push means you need to add the item to an array for the suppose i want to put john 4 okay for that reason if i refresh you can see i am displaying john 1 john 2 john 3 john 4 means the push method is used to push is used to add data to the existing array but it to declare a variable which store three item and later you want to add the value to this existing one then you have to use the concept of push the same way you want to delete the item suppose you want to delete this john first item then i told if you want to manipulate any data to a any data to a array you have to always remember the concept of an index because each and every item is separated by using the index the same way if i want to remove this name for that I need to use name dot splice hey guys you have to remember all these things these are the predefined functions 
in the java in the javascript you you have to remember all these things okay then splice means the which is it will asking what is the index position i want to delete i want to give the zero index okay let me save it remove position splice is used to uh, remove the push is used to add the item splice is used to remove the item to remove the item its first argument will be the what is the index you want to delete i want to set the index is delete for zero then it's asking how from this index how many item you want to delete if you don't give this any of the uh, argument it will going to clear it will go to delete all the things but our intention will be we are going to only delete this item for that you have to give zero as the starting index and how many item you want to delete i want to delete only one item it's going to delete this only item only this item so i want to only delete two item then it will go it will go into john and john to go to delete you can see that john and john to got deleted only john 3 john 4 will be there okay that is the use of splice here because when you're going to program the array in array there is n number of functions is there we are going to discuss each and every function later of the classes but as of now you just know how to declare a array how to access a array how to insert a data into the array and how to delete an array data this is the basic use of array okay clear now I think uh, this is the basic of a JavaScript. You have to know how to declare a all these things. Let me go uh, next two things. One is called function, another called event. Okay. <clears throat> Let me go for a function. Let me create one uh, called function.html. We'll create what is a function. Okay. Let me add the HTML syntax function. one script tag okay. let's start with the function now what is a function let me draw something you have to know what what is the use of function first just imagine you want to add two number okay you want to add two number what will do you know to create uh, you just declare suppose just i'm giving an example add two number will do you have declared one variable one variable n1 giving and declaring variable n2 was giving 20 then you simple do where n sum equal to n1 plus n2 this is a basic structure right so give something output just imagine i am what i am saying okay based on my condition you need to do plus minus divisible multiplication okay what i am trying to say it here i am giving you a condition in that condition you have to do plus minus divisible only suppose what i'll do suppose i have to declare uh, bar uh, suppose option equal to plus Okay. And what we'll do? We'll go right if op equal to equal to plus, then I'll do right. Just an example bar sum and sum equal to n plus and n two. Okay. Same way, you want to go right if else if okay, op equal to equal to minus, then I need to minus the data. Just giving an example, I'm going to discuss all this thing. End. This is a basic programming, right? Means based up, upon my uh, option, I need to do plus minus all these things. This is one of the programming. Now, the same thing I want to use in button and click, or same thing I want to use in some other events. Nowadays, now what will you do? You have to copy the same code and paste there, right? Suppose the same code you want to use multiple places, then what will you do? You need to copy this code and 
place place this thing in different different places instead of doing all these things there is a concept called function what is function function means what you will do you will create a area Let's imagine you have to create a area and this area you will write you will write some code okay you will write some code and that code I mean this area I mean this enter one is going to used all the places means suppose this page you want to call this one you're going to call it and this page you want to want to call it you want to call it means instead of writing this code all the places what will do you will create a group of code and use this group of code to all the different different places that is the use of a function means you declare a scope you declare a area that area can be used in different different format or different different pages that is the use of function means instead of writing this code all the times okay instead of writing the, all, this code in all the pages for all the requirement what you will do you will go create one function function means you will go and create one block you have to go and create a block and write your code inside the block and this block is going to use all the places whenever it is required for that reason we need the concept of function let me go and make let me go and change this enter one to function okay means to declare a function in javascript we have to use the keyword called function same as you declare a variable we are using the keyword called var the same way to declare a function you have to give the keyword called function then you have to give the function name the function name will be you have to give any name suppose i am giving function name is called suppose calculate then to start a function you have to give two round bracket then means you have declare a function which name is calculate this is round bracket used for argument i am going to discuss this one later this is for argument and this is the scope start scope end means whenever you declare this one then in code internally you create one scope mean this is your scope to declare the function calculate means what happen in internal in the program it's create a area for you means this area can be used in other places but if you go for this kind of code mean this code is belongs to this page only this is not going to be changed if you have to do the same type of operation in different different page you need to copy this code and paste it there right means there is no code reusability of this one the basic use of function is to do the code reusability what is code reusability means suppose you want to perform the same operation multiple time instead of doing the same thing multiple time writing the code you just create a function and add your logic here and use this function whenever it's required okay let me show you this example let's imagine let me remove this one at all now <clears throat> so i want to do calculate okay for this calculate what i need to do i i need two variable and one operator for that let me simply use a uh, function suppose let me show console dot log function function calling means i have declared one function called calculate inside that i have added one code called function calling now the concept is how to call a function call a function to call a function in javascript we have to use the function name and same way this is a declaration of a function this is a calling of a function okay i mean this is the declare you have to understand what is the use of function to reuse the code means no need to do the same task again and again that is the use of um, function this is a declaration of a function and this is the calling of a function if i save it and refresh you can see that it is displaying function calling means function is executed okay 
now make this one little bit the actual purpose of a function suppose what i told earlier i need to use this function to calculate based on the different different data right means i need a number one and number two and the operator for that i need to give a argument here what is argument let me discuss argument or parameter let me discuss number one number two of opt operator and what i'll do i'll write where some switch just imagine switch op t write the code first Under such this syntax, I have declared a calculate variable, a calculate function. Inside function, I have passed three parameter. Okay, what is parameter argument? Let me discuss. Okay, let me call this function first. Let me first. I have declared norm one, norm two, norm three. These are the argument. Argument means what? If you want to pass some data to a function, if you want to pass any data to a function, we call as argument. Argument or parameter. Okay. Always remember, if if you are not from like uh, programming background, you have to remember all these things. If you declare a function and you want to pass the data to a function, because what I told earlier, function is used to used to create the reusability of code means you have to reuse the code right reuse code means it should get some data and it should return some data return part will go later but here we'll discuss to pass any value to a function we need the argument okay the argument can be passed by using comma comma operator same as array these are the different different argument means norm one is the argument norm two is the argument option is the argument what i did option is going to store the all the option and declare a variable called sum and when option plus it giving plus norm one so minus division multiplication now how i can use this one you can see that let me call this function initially my function don't have any argument for that reason i have just used this way but now my function contain this three argument let me use how it going to call it suppose i want to call this 10 10 is the first argument 20 is the first, second argument third argument is the plus okay. the same way let me go and use minus same way i go and use multiplication same way go in the multiplication and see that what i did it here i want to calculate plus do i need to write the same code again no i need to divisible multiplication what i did all this logic whatever i, I can change here to 20 to 30 right 20 to 30 i can change all the things it's up to me how can I going to change it means what i'm trying to say to here if you declare a variable if you declare a function this function is going to do some set of task okay to do some set of task you need the concept of function in that case function also accepting some kind of argument argument means suppose you have to pass some data for that reason we need some arguments or parameter you can see that i am doing the same operation same code again and again but i am do i am writing the four times no right i am only written one time this calculation code and use this calculated code in four times that is the beauty of function means once you declare a function next time 
no need to write the same code again and again but just imagine if you want to write the same code for plus minus divisible multiplication you need to write the four times right you need to write the all the code four times but here you can see that i have only written one time and called the same function four times only you have to call the function but no need to write the code that much many time that is the use of function means function is used to reuse the code to reuse code means you create a block that code is going to reuse all the places that is the use of a function okay now now the uh, concept will be here you have a uh, learn about the argument means you are sending some data from your function to from your code to this function based on the argument it's working that way but suppose after some calculation you want to return this sum what i did it here i have just logged the data right but what i try to do it here you need to return the data return means you want to get the data from this from this function for that we have a concept called return keyword return means it will give you data parameter means it will accept the data always remember argument or parameter means it's going to accept the data whereas the return means give the data already know that return means to something is going to return right even return something return what you want to return you want to return this sum what will happen if i go and refresh this one you can see nothing is displaying but what i'll do i'll store it back sum equal to console dot log sum let me show you how it's working if i refresh you can see that i'm displaying 30 because why i'm displaying 30 because this function returning something if i don't return something then then it will going to show me undefined you got it the concept of a returning the return means in function if you want to return some data to your where are you going to execute it is then you have to use the concept of a return if you don't return anything the by default return will be undefined undefined means there is nothing you defined it's undefined right if it's always be recommended whatever function you are using it's if the data is required then you have to return the data otherwise no need to return it's up to you how you are going to design the function but what we learn here to accept the data we require the parameter to return the data we require the return statement return keyword return the return value okay it's up to you now, how to use that one the var sum equal to calculate function i have used the calculate function and whatever data will receive from this calculate is assigned to this sum one and then i have declared this sum the same way suppose the var uh, sum to then what i'll do i'll go and write console uh, i want to log it log sum one you can see that 30 minus 10 means either you can do it inside this function but it's always recommended if uh, if your function doing something and returning something always handle the data in the where it's getting called this is the point right where it's getting called you have to handle all the data here only that is the use of a function okay this is just an example of function when you go forward then you learn much more about the function how it's work and all these things you have to learn okay now in this session we will learn the concept of function you remember uh, we have to know the basic of function because function is going to be used in further classes because when you do any events when you do anything else then you have to require the basic of a function okay we have let's uh, we have 10 minutes more let me go and discuss about events what is event what is event means whatever the user doing some operation we call as the event right means you click a button you click a button and in that button only you want to perform some operation okay then how you can do that operation using javascript okay 
which are event one let me add one button button type button let me click me add some script now as of now whatever we have read we have just read the concept of a javascript means how to declare a variable array all these things let's go and interact with the actual the programming actual programming how are you going to interact with the html for that you need to knew you have to know the concept of events means if something going to happen in a button how we can go to do that for that let me declare one function called so and here that I'll I'll show a lot. Not a, I'll click. Okay. Since I have declared a function called so and in the inside the button I have used a fun, uh, console.log button click let me know if i going to click this button if i going to click this button i want to execute this function right this is the use of function this is the use of a function for that in button we have a call on click on click is a predefined attribute for a button which is used to when you click this button it's going to fire for that i need to call this function Yes, I click. You can see that if I click, you can able to see that it's getting increased. That is the use of a events, right? Means on click is a event name and it's accepting so you have passed this so okay. And for that reason, when you click it here, it displaying it. If you click it here, you can see that in my log here, you can able to see that it's increasing, right. Let me make it a little bit dynamic. I want to show how many times the user click on this button. How can do that? Let me declare a variable called counter. Counter equal to zero. Initial, I have initialized counter equal to zero. Now what I'll do in when a user is going to click it, I need to increase the counter, right? I increase the counter equal to counter plus plus. I told this plus plus means increase by one okay plus plus if you go writing counter plus plus is same equal to counter same equal to counter equal to counter plus one if you're writing all this syntax if you're going to write this counter plus plus it's the same as this one means i have increased the counter by plus one now what I need to do, when I click on the button, that time I want to increase the number of click. Then what I did, I have declared one variable called counter equal to zero initially. When a button click will be, like suppose when this function going to call, inside that I have increased the value of the variable. Means initial zero, next click one, next click two, next click three. Let me show you how you can see that. Suppose here, instead of I build the counter. Save it. You can see that how many times I will click. I need to click. It is going to increase. Means this variable is a global variable. It store the it once initialized. When you're going to click it, I need to display all these things. This is the use of a function and use of a events. Okay. Means you have to remember that there is n number of events for a button then whatever uh, like you want to use based on your uses you have to use it okay that is all about a function and use a function using the events anyone any question because tomorrow we are going to start the like basic how we are going to access a control of a html uh, like uh, in html like drop down text box all these things and we'll, we'll create a small kind of app like calculator application then we'll go for a <coughs> typescript one anyone any question please let me know
sir can you explain return function okay that's fine let me okay let me go to this return function what is return before going to return you have to understand why this return is required all the time because we are you are using the calculator this calculator function because we are creating a function to do something and give us something that is the use of a function means function means if something is going to work the same task then means something is going to do only one task then there is no use of a function always remember if some bunch of code is going to do only one task okay then no need to use the concept of a function if some task is going to be used multiple times then you have to use the concept of a function that is always you have to remember the basic concept of a function what i am saying if your function is only doing only one work there is nothing to dynamic nothing is there then no need to use a function it's always recommended but when your function is used to do the data is going to execute the data based on some argument based on some dynamic data then you have to use the concept of this uh, uh, function but if you are using some function that function should give something right as, as i told function is doing two two things one is accepting the data and giving the data means means when you create a uh, function that time you have accept some data from the source and when it's got executed and you are expecting some data from the function right if you are going to expect some data from the function you have to use the concept of a return means you are after your all execution you are returning the sum either you can use sum here but some of the cases you need sum further and again you want to add something that sum you can do that means what try, i am trying to say it here whenever you creating the function and returning something that means the function after executing all the data then you have to sum you want to return some data example i am just trying to say it here suppose you want to write we have extra data function i am eligible for vote or not okay now now the function is going to return true or false in that case just imagine this function is going to return the true or false in that case based on the true and false you want to do the further action just example suppose imagine this this and the suppose um, uh, sum you want to check that if sum equal to equal to true then i want to do something else i want to do something in that case for here also you want to say if sum equal to sum one equal to equal to true i have to do something else i have to do something but just imagine calculate function or this true function is going to check only okay i want to do perform some operation but after the operation completed you are if you want to do perform another operation that time you cannot go and write all the condition here right in that case what you need to do you need to return some value to the parent then based on this value if you want to do further operation then you, you can do it that is the use of return means it, function means it is going to do the common work after the common work if you want to do the another work then you have to return the value based on the value you can do the operation means i want to say that okay the calculation if the is it will be greater than 100 then i want to do something here if the data is greater than less than equal to 200 or 100 like um, 10 i want to do some operation that code you can go and write each and individually here right because it will be getting a little bit more for that reason we have to do the concept of a return once you return the value what will happen it's just give you the calculated value then based on the value whatever of next operation you want to do for your project you have to do the operation that is the use of a return means you perform some operation and you return some value and that value is captured by this function wherever you're going to use and further if you want to do some operation to that value then you have to do that that is the use of a return if your function only doing some operation no need to return that's fine if you want to further use that output of that function and use any other places then use the concept of a return okay